In this topic, we're going to talk about Azure Site Recovery. So Site Recovery is an interesting uh, kind of service that we're providing in Azure. And really what the focus is about Site Recovery is to be able to provide you a way to orchestrate your disaster recovery failover. Um, so a lot of people hear about this and they have kind of uh, maybe sometimes misconstrued ideas about what actually happens here. So I'll kind of draw out a little bit about uh, the overall architecture of how this actually works and then we'll talk through some of the details. So if we were to look at um, a typical network here, if we have our on-prem network and then we have Azure here, um, which is going to function as our, our DR, we could have um, over here, we could have like site one, which is maybe our production site, and then we could have site two, which would be a uh, secondary, maybe a backup data center that we have. And so we have a lot of servers over here um, doing our workloads on-prem. And we have, um, potentially, these could be virtualized or physical servers. Um, so we'll talk through each one of those, but just consider those to be server workloads. And up in Azure, we actually can provision what's, what's called site recovery. So we'll provision a uh, space in site recovery for our sites here. And when we set this up and configure it, we basically configure the orchestration of this failover. So we still have to have servers over here that we're going to fail over to in our site too. But in this model, basically, these guys are being replicated up through uh, site recovery to uh, potentially be failed over here. So we're going to see this guy is actually the guy who's controlling what's happening here. But the replication is actually potentially happening between these two uh, sites right now. And site recovery is really about uh, you know, orchestrating that failover. So in the, in the event that this site one uh, goes offline, something happens, power grid, um, some natural disaster happens in that area where those, those actual servers are, uh, Azure Site Recovery can be used because it's running off-premises, it's already in the cloud, and it can orchestrate that failover to make these servers now become the primaries. Um, so that's the from a real high level, 10,000 foot view, this is what we're trying to orchestrate and that's what Site Recovery is really about. Now, the details about this are, I mentioned before, these could be physical servers, right? So we could have these be actual physical. Um, these could be Hyper-V, um, so if we had Hyper-V hosts here, and actually, these can actually be VMware. Now, VMware has some limited constraints right now. Um, there's more being added to that daily. But the primary use case of when we bought, um, so we had a partner that actually had built a product called uh, Image. And we ended up uh, buying that product. And that's what we're integrating into Site Recovery over here. And so as those features get more uh, mature and flushed out, the features for doing things like VMware as opposed to a pure Windows, you know, Hyper-V or physical server actually uh, increase. So we'll be able to provide all those services right now. Right now we can do VMware between sites, um, but we can also do things like what if we had an Azure tenant up here? And what if we wanted to actually replicate our servers up there to Azure and that become our DR? So right now we can do that from physical and Hyper-V. Uh, we can't do that from VMware yet. Um, but that's something that's in the roadmap, and that's something that the uh, product group's closely looking at, and I'm, I'm sure you're going to see that in the near future. Um, but from a high level, this is what site recovery is about. Um, I hope you enjoyed the topic on Azure site recovery.